Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. I'm always a glory. Welcome to another weekend product review. As you saw from yet last review, Vivor sent me this great mechanics chair. Basically great to sit on here, swivel, have your tools necessary on five caster wheels. Link is in the description for this item too. This is exactly what I need because usually I just sit on this little thing, you know what I mean? But this thing rolls around and also carries the tools for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing part two of the Vivor shipment that I got this weekend. I've been doing a lot of Vivor products because they have some fantastic products. Tens of thousands of them on their website at Vivor.com. Today they sent me, you ready for this? It is a new jack for working on your in your garage to jack up your car. This is the pneumatic uh, air ride system, you know, on some fancy Mercedes and uh, Lincoln Mark 7s. They have airbags that lift and lower the suspension. This is the same premise. It's a jack that uses an airbag and you use your air compressor hook up to the hose, open a couple of valves and it inflates the airbag to jack up your car. Really cool. Oh man, it's huge. Here's the airbag itself with the assembly and wheels. This is not a good way to do it. I'll do this. Here it is right there. It has a rubber um, plate over here with grids on it, round and uh, that shape so that wherever your frame may be, it's protected with this uh, rubber grommet, if you will, or stopper. And it has these ridges here where if you have a rail type uh, jack point, it sits there comfortably and it's rubberized. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to put this thing together. Uh, I've never had anything like this before. This is very cool. And there's a hose that wraps around here. And that's what's powered by your air compressor. Here's the uh, bracket with the valves on it. In and out, out and in, with a uh, release, pressure release right here. So when you have um, too much air, you can release the air. And I believe it's your standard um, half inch fittings. Some hardware and a handle. I'm going to try to install this without reading the instructions. There we go, I'm all finished. I uh, read the instructions just in case because these are the valves under high pressure. So it wasn't very descriptive on what you're supposed to do. You know, uh, this should be just a quarter turn, but this actually goes 180. So I don't know if this is open or closed. Also, this part over here is not tight. It was just loose like this. It's like a, a stopper to stop air. So I'm assuming this needs to be tightened. Is there's air coming out and this is not tight. This part would come and hit you in the face and you're dead. So that's very dangerous. So just to be safe, I guess I'm gonna close this tight. It doesn't tell you in the instructions what to do. So that's uh, not very good. So the instructions could be better. Um, it doesn't tell you anything about these things here. It doesn't tell you about this thing. Uh, the hose was put in from the bottom through the rod and I put some Teflon tape on the threads to put the nozzle on. It doesn't tell you anything about that in the instructions. It has this fitting here. It goes 180 degrees. So I don't know if this is closed, that's open, that's closed again, I'm not sure. It doesn't tell you in the instructions. This is a release valve. You pull that to release air from the bag if you wanted to. And then there's a red one here that also goes 180 degrees. 
and I don't know what it's for because it doesn't tell you in the instructions. But go is yes, <laughs> red is no, I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't tell you how to fit this uh, hose in either to the, you're supposed to release this nut, release this nut, put it over the hose, put the hose in. I had to cut a piece because it was too long and it wouldn't let you retract it anymore. So I had to cut it to shape. Put some Teflon tape on the threads and screwed it in. I'm just gonna attach air to it and we'll find out what happens. Let's charge my air compressor up. Okay, my air compressor is charged up. Let's put this nozzle on. It's just like that. Let's test it. So I have these both down like that. The red is that way, green one is this way. Usually that means it's closed. So I've got this one closed. I'm gonna open this one up so air would go in here. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is great. So it's under pressure, right? And I let's do the red uh, red one. Wow. So this nut here is actually not really a nut. It has a metal mesh uh, part here that allows the air to come out of here. And now you close it again. That's awesome. Let's try it on my truck, huh? Because my truck is so high up. And a regular jack is not able to uh, lift this truck without a block of wood or something. Let's see if this one can lift the truck with the wheels off. I guess I'll just put it on the frame. All right, I got you on the bottom here. I'm gonna try to aim for the frame. Okay, that's the most it'll go. And my tire is still on the ground. So it's not high enough to pick up a truck. You still have to put like a block there or something. But the ease of it though. Now to just to disconnect it, I'll take the red uh, valve. How oh, about that, huh? That's great. Even though it's not high enough for my truck, put a block of wood there, it'd be fine. And also the ease of uh, lifting it and lowering it without having to pump a hydraulic jack, that's pretty cool. So how about that, fellas, huh? A pneumatic jack. <sighs> All with a twist of a wrist. No more jacking up stuff. That's great. And it releases. Along with my Vivor chair, I'm ready to go for the for some springtime wrenching on the truck uh, with a block of wood. But this would pick up your conventional car that's not so high. Uh, no problem. So you would keep this in your garage or something. You couldn't take this with you in a car because you'd need an air compressor. Well, I guess you could. But uh, fantastic items here from Vivor. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. And we'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. 
See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.